So should we get set up from this guy? I, I think so. I'm Stop good with it. See that little dark piece hanging down off that yeah, tree? Yeah, yeah. Behind that. Island here. We went to the north side this afternoon first thing, just got up high, actually glassing the neighboring island, which is called Hunter Island. Catchy. So looking for sandbar over there. We've seen a bunch, but I haven't seen any big ones. There's a good chance during high tide tomorrow we're gonna take the boat, go to that island. But this afternoon we're gonna bounce back over to the south side where we were last night. There's a large population of sandbar over there too. Hopefully we'll glass up a big one somewhere we can make a play on it. See on that far hill, hill face over there, yeah. there's sort of like a light patch, almost kind of looks like sand on the hillside. Okay, I see With you. a light colored round bush on the top of it. Yep. Right underneath that light colored. We bounced over to the south side of the island, got up high and started glass in here. And Tyler caught underneath a tree over there as a sandbar and got us pretty, pretty interested, but just walked out into small stag so we're just going to continue on glass in here as the sun sets see if one doesn't pop out of one of the thickets he's moving through those trees pretty quick yeah. he's gone to the right well, we were just glassing up here a group of sandbar popped out and it looked like a spike and, and some does and then all of a sudden a uh, bigger stag came out the back we didn't didn't get a good look at him but he definitely has a big frame on him so we're gonna make a play and just move down here. And there's about 30 minutes left to light. So we're gonna either feed on the back side or pop out on this side. We're just gonna get in a spot. If they do come out on this side, we'll be able to see them better. Oh yeah. That's him, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we started cutting down this hill and made it just a little bit of ways. He actually popped out of the trees and is coming this way right at us. Pretty good look at him right now. So should we get set up on this guy? I, I think so. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with it.
You want them, Lee? You want them? See if we can't get him. Well, we saw that. I said we. Tyler saw this no, stick. Was that Lee? Spot. No, Lee. Can't point. To, I can't point to Lee. He's actually filming. <laughs> Spotted this deer come out. And we made a trip down the side hill, and he was hauling in here. Looks like he just wallowed right over there. Yeah. And he popped out and we kind of played cat and mouse and about 75 yards got in front of him here and got up on his hind legs eating out of the tree as soon as he came down landed broadside shot felt really good he took off over here we just came to see if we could see him again but it got pretty thick so we're just going to give him a couple minutes and then trail in there again the shot felt shot felt good yeah way bigger animal than what i was thinking though just body wise I didn't go very far at all. No. <laughs> awesome. I was looking at that. I saw, that yeah, I saw you too. Oh. That's awesome. Oh, awesome. That is sweet. Sandbar on Marble Island, Australia. That's a awesome and cool animal I mean, this is one that it is literally the size of an elk body throws everything off so from a distance its antlers look way smaller than what it was when we got up close and it was cool we're up on the glassing knob most of the afternoon and lee was messing around with the spotting scope and saw a group coming out and this was the last one in the group we tried to make a play down the hill and for whatever reason this stag cut off from the does and that spike and just cut across. So we made a quick play down to the bottom and saw him for a second, couldn't get a shot, moved over to the left and, and finally got him in a clearing, waiting for him to turn broadside. And right before he did, he hopped up on his hind legs, started eating out of a tree. As soon as he landed, he was broadside and just let him have it. And he only ended up going about 45 yards. Just an amazing animal. Way bigger body-wise than what I was thinking. It was a heck of a day in Australia. Dove and Rusa in the morning and sandbar in the afternoon. <laughs> 